Hello, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be showing you just kind of a branch style painting on this green glass bottle. I am going to be using 3A Magic paint brushes. And I'm going to be using, looks like a 12, a 10, and a number 2 and a fine liner by Westonia. All these items will be listed down below as affiliate links if you'd like to purchase through those. I'm using Folk Art Paints, Happy Green, Pale Yellow, Wicker White, Tea Berry, Thicket, and burnt umber. As you can see, there's a mixture of multi-surface and enamels. And I do that primarily for the color selection. A lot of times if they're out of a color I like to use, they have similar colors in the other, the other brand. I shouldn't say really brand because they're all still folk art paints, but the other uh, formula and I just go from there with it. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to dip one side of my brush into the tea berry, one side into the thicket, and begin. Now as far as loading your brush, the proper way is to go back and forth, blend, and get the paint three quarters of the way up the brush. For me, as many of you know that follow me, I just do the best I can, get the brush loaded and go. And keep dipping in as I create the design. Alright, so I'm going to begin up here and I'm just going to do this little wiggle. And I'm going to come back in and add a little bit more white to it. And come in here and then just do a little, little sweeping motion there to make a bud. Come out here, come down here, and finish up. Okay, and then I'm going to just do three of them, which is pretty much what I do. I do my odd numbers. That's just how I like to paint. I don't know why, but and then you can come up here if you want. Just kind of swing your brush around and go like that to finish it off. If you get too much paint on your brush while you're doing this, feel free to just wipe some of it off. Not that big of a deal. If you have any questions or comments, please put those down below. When you're watching this, if you feel like, you know, if you try it and you feel like it's not flowing for you naturally, you might want to go the opposite direction as opposed to what how I'm creating mine. I am a left-handed person, so that can actually make a difference. of what feel, feels comfortable to you. All right, so on this, I'm just pushing it down and wiggling the brush. And I'm gonna to try to leave the center open a little bit as I create. And I'm gonna come over with another layer this is actually going to be a three layered flower. And I'm going to turn my brush as I'm creating, or I can go the opposite direction. You know, I don't have to go around going completely around the flower in the same direction. 
you don't have to do that. You can vary it. All right, and then I'm going to put the center in. And when I'm creating this type of a flower, I kind of like to go over, like, not stay with, I don't want to say the seam, but how like a petal begins and starts. Kind of like to rotate and go over that so that like all my petals aren't lined up directly from one to the other, if that makes sense. I'll show you here in a second. And please make sure that you do subscribe and hit that notification bell before you leave. I would greatly appreciate that. Again, if you have any questions, comments, please place those down below and know that my designs are meant to be simple for beginners to be able to do them. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Here I have like a, you know, where the petals meet, meet up. I like to stagger my petals. I guess that's probably a better word so that I'm covering that up and not just lining it up and having all the leaves um, lined up perfectly from one l layer to the other. Like this one kind of lines up, but that's okay. Go over it with another layer of petals. Just very, very soft, a very soft looking design. And again, I can go both directions. I don't have to just go clockwise or counterclockwise around when I'm creating the flowers. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is pick up my number 10 flat brush. I'm gonna come into my browns and I have my teddy bear brown, I do believe it is, and my burnt umber. I'm not sure if I said the teddy bear brown. If I didn't, I am using teddy bear brown. And I'm gonna load this brush again the proper way is to load it three quarters of the way up, give it some good blending strokes. I just typically add paint and go. Sorry. All right, so then I'm gonna put a branch in. All right, so you can kind of angle it. Yeah, I'm kind of angled at the beginning of it. I'll make sure I'm going the right way here with this. I angled into this one. Now you could actually put this branch down first, but I'm doing it as a, well, I wanna make sure I'm doing it the right way here, as an uh, addition to the design. Come out here, all right. And then I'm gonna come off this one a little bit. And come over here. I'm gonna branch it off like there's another branch coming up here. That's a little hard to see for me with the with the shimmer here. Alright, so I want it to make sense that it comes up to where I would connect it to the branch. And then I'm going to come over here with one and it's going to come up to the bottom of my flower. And you could also even add white. A lot of times I add white to mine and that just gives it a little bit more opaqueness. And then I can come up above this, this flower if I want to branch off a little bit because typically yeah, branch isn't going to necessarily just stop at the bloom. Okay. All right, so let's go back to this one because I'm going to fill it in a little bit more. And I'm going to make sure that it's, that it's opaque. If you're new to my channel, just know that the thicker your paint is applied, the more durable you are. I'm going to go out with another branch this way. The more durable your design is going to be just so that you know that you know a lot of times people will ask me you 
Now are those good to, to, you know, will the paint fall off, which I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to mean because the paint doesn't just fall off. But I do get that, that question. All right, I think it's enough with the branches. So this is what I've got so far. And then I'm going to, actually I used the wrong brush. I meant to use this one for my leaves. Okay, well, that's all right. I was gonna actually use the smaller one for my branches. I just remembered that, but anyhow, not a big deal. All right, so let's go ahead and do our, our leaves. I'm gonna go into my thicket, into my happy green, and in my blending strokes. All right, so on this, I'm going to do a wiggle leaf. When I come back, I'm just doing, it's flat on that side. I'm not wiggling on both sides. And just like anything else I do, if you want, you can rotate the colors so that you know, the top is dark sometimes or it's light you can reverse it around. Meaning like I can go like this so the top can be wiggled with the lighter green and smooth with the darker green. And I can come over here, do the same thing, and just smooth it back. That's what I mean by that. And you just keep adding leaves wherever you see fit. And realize too that I do like my leaves, so I add a lot. Oops, I'm going backwards here, sorry. That's what happens when you're you're goofy. <laughs> okay, Amy. I'm gonna fill this in a little bit. Come over here, do the same thing, and just bring it back. If you've got one that's uh, a little bit bigger, you can you know, flatten it out more as you're bringing it back so it's not quite so flat, you know, that's wider, I guess I should say. But I'm just going to create and just keep pulling them back. I'm going to switch them around a little bit. I didn't on my my initial design, but I'm going to on this. I think it's prettier when you do that. And I'm not using any other kind of leaf. It's just going to be this this one, this style. And you can also make them different sizes. They don't all have to be big. And they can go over each other. I am. Okay, let's go this way. I did that backwards. Amy, <laughs> don't, don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Well, what the heck my problem is today. I'm thinking upside down. I'm not sure. There we go. You can always fix it. <laughs> Even if, you, if you're goofy like me, you can always fix it. I don't know what, what my craziness is today. But if you want to put some out from the flowers too, you can do that. The next thing I'm going to do to finish this up is, is focus on the center. I'm going to take my liner brush, stick it into my browns. Then I'm going to go into the centers of these flowers. Okay, this one looks like it's just going... Need a little bit more paint on my brush. That is just going up this direction. I want to make sure I'm not my arm hand is not in the way. So I'm just pulling it up. You can round it out here if you want a little bit. Bring it up. Put a little bit of my lighter brown in here. 
You could even add in some white if you wanted to. I'm not going to on mine, but you could. And then I'm going to come over here and do this. Let me look at this one where I think it's headed. Eh, let's let it, let's do it like it's coming this way. All right. And you can even do this into the little, the smaller little blossoms. And I'm not sure how realistic this would be, but it does give it some more color and interest by doing this. Some people put like dots in these. But I'm not going to do that right now, but I am going to put some other color into this. But I like these little pieces coming up here. Just to finish it off. All right, I think that's good enough. I could spend my days on that. And then I'm just going to put some of the pale yellow onto my brush. And I am going to just come in here and I'm just not making dots. I'm just tapping on here. And adding to the tip. This gives it some more color, some more texture. I don't know why I did that, but not necessarily. I have to go that far down. My brush kind of hit that. And then do the same to these little guys. And do the same to this one. And you're good to go. And there you have it. There you have it. Pretty darn easy and pretty, right? I think it's very pretty. All right, if you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Again, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And one other request, if you would take some time to share this video on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. All you have to do is hit the share button you'll find underneath the video and it'll give you your options easy peasy. All right. Thanks again for stopping by. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.